Let's give it up for Casey Balsham. Come on, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> so much better than my normal intro. It's like, oh, it's a girl. Uh, <laughs> she's gonna get up here and suck all your dicks. I um, <laughs> it gets so busy. Um, <laughs> constant dicks. Oh God, you guys. Hi, New York. I'm freezing. How you doing? <laughs> from LA so this is what a season is that's what you guys call this it's fucking cold but you know what at least you guys know how to dress for the cold weather like I'm from LA we wear stretch pants and boots and we're like fucking done we're warm like it's like a memo went out that was like da -da 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 -da, camel toe everybody go <laughs> it's not that weird for me though because generally when I wear stretch pants I just dress to the left I throw both lips over to one side <laughs> I have a little vag nugget, just like, hey, vag, vag nugget coming to McDonald's. <laughs> Big popular item, ranch and peroxide. I'm just kidding. I uh, don't like the vag nugget song. I'm sorry. It's like a guy, right? I'm just dressing to the left. <laughs> It's not my fault. I was kind of raised like a tomboy. Like, my dad had two girls, so he's like, well, you fucking like baseball. And I'm like, all right, I like baseball. It's fine. Um, I'm a San Francisco Giants fan. No big deal. Thank you. Very, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, here's my thing about baseball, though, guys. I mean, does it freak anybody else out that there are human beings that can throw a ball 100 miles an hour? Like, I have a 97 Honda CRV. That thing fucking shakes at 73. <laughs> like, ah! Uh -huh. So next time I'm late for work, I'm just gonna find a Dominican, have him throw me there. Whoa! <laughs> right there. <laughs> I was just actually in San Francisco and I was visiting my parents. Yes, thank God. Every time I say it, I'm like, ah, I get it, you're fucking from there, relax. <laughs> I'm just kidding, thank you for the support. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> No, so I was home in San Francisco, which we all know is great. I, uh, <laughs> I was there visiting my parents. They're still there. Um, it's weird, though, because they're divorced now, and my mom is actually dating a black guy, and my dad is dating an Asian woman. Yes, it's very exciting. I'm a comic. Thank you very much. I, uh, <laughs> it's like, this works out well. But it's weird, because it's not like they hated each other enough in the divorce to go gay. They just went to minorities. They were like, yeah, yeah, bigger dick, smaller hole. We'll take it. Fucking... <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I know, my dad hates that joke. He's like, you say I have a small wiener on stage. I'm like, she's hitting a black guy, you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Not my problem. It is weird though, <laughs> keeping the joke. Uh, it's bizarre though, because my parents are both dating and I am just like violently single. Like I am just like not even close to being uh, a mother. And I, uh, <laughs> I just, it's hard though, because I feel like when it comes down to girls and boys and the way we, we qualify relationships, like it'll take a guy like six months before he's like, oh yeah, that's mine. And like I brush elbows with a guy at a bank and I'm like, so I met someone and like, <laughs> where do I go? <laughs> It's weird, because I'm at, I'm at a really weird age, too. I'm 32, so it's like, it's, it's weird, because the only people that hit on me now are like boys in their 20s or divorcees in their 40s, because everybody my age is just toughing it out through that first marriage. <laughs> like, just, see you in 10 years. Um, <laughs> And it's bizarre though, because like with the younger guys, there's definitely a disconnect. Like, I don't know, like, okay, this is gonna sound terrifying, but the last guy I legitimately dated was 21. Yeah, yeah, he worked at my bar. I wasn't just driving by school, like, hey, you're the fastest runner, get in. <laughs> I'm a coach. <laughs> Come on. Like, he found me. But there's a definite, there's a definite disconnect, especially with, okay, and I use the term dating loosely. I really mean we were just texting, and I just, you know, like, I don't know anything about him except for he uses no punctuation and fucking all lowercase letters. I'm like, throw me an emoji, show me you care, you know, like, do something. <laughs> Come on. So, but, like, he would, he would do the weird thing with texting. I don't know if anybody else is weird with texting. Like, I, like, it, that's a deal breaker for me. Like, if you're a weird texter, like, bye bye see you later. So this kid, he used to do the lazy thing. So he'd be like, what are you 
doing tonight? And I was like, okay, if you're gonna be lazy with letters, like, what else are you gonna shortchange me in? <laughs> like, are you gonna try and fuck my pussy? And I just, like, I just, I feel like if you're not gonna give me the U, you're not gonna give me the O, so I don't know why the hell we're. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm just, you know, I'm just a ha-ha kind of girl trying to date in an LOL kind of world, you guys. <laughs> it's not working out. But, okay, on the other side of the spectrum, then, the older gentlemen, for them, I feel like they're more likely to, like, find things wrong with you, but, like, stuff that they already knew about you, you know? Like, this guy I dated, he's like, you drink too much. I was like, you found me at a bar in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> It's not my fault you thought I had potential. Like I was, <laughs> I was wearing a tutu for Christ's sakes. Like you think I'm mommy material? <laughs> I actually, it's terrifying. I'm, I'm so immature. I had a pregnancy scare one time, you guys. I thought I was pregnant. It turns out I'm just lactose intolerant. <laughs> I sat on the toilet. I was like, I hope it's crap. <laughs> Cause if it's a baby, I'm just gonna leave it in there. I. Uh, <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Come on, let, according to the Nirvana album cover, circa the 90s, babies be swimming. They are fine. <laughs> babies be swimming. <laughs> it is weird, though, because I'm getting older but not more mature. Like, it's a really bizarre world to live in. Like, I have a bad back, but I've seen Frozen five goddamn times. <laughs> Like, I'm like a man-child. Speaking of Frozen, you guys, this is just a side note. Is it me or are or cartoons getting hotter? Like, I would fucking fuck that bad prince in Frozen. <laughs> Anybody else? Like, I would take that ginger down. <laughs> it would be weird, though, like, if that was a reality. Like, could you imagine your roommate walks in on you? And I was like, oh, be like, Lisa, Aladdin, Aladdin, Lisa, he's a prince. Like, it'd be weird. <laughs> I don't know. Hi, I didn't want you guys to meet like this. <laughs> What was I? Oh, I was talking about being immature, wasn't I? Look at I don't even remember things like a grown-up. So yes, I'm immature. I'm at this really weird point in my life, too, where I just kind of wish I made every other decision besides the ones that I made, including this blue-on-blue -blue ensemble um, and this hair to the side. So it's like, but my friend, I was telling my friend Melanie, I was like, listen, I was like, she's like, you have to stay positive about this. You have to put your sticky notes. Do you guys put sticky notes? Like, so when you wake up, one says like, you're beautiful and you're amazing. And so I was like, I put my sticky notes up one says kegels, one says I am enough. Like I'm <laughs> trying to keep it together. So <laughs> essentially, bottom line, you guys, I watch a lot of porn. I, uh, I think single and porn are kind of, it's like one, it's like, duh, you know what I mean? My thing with porn though, it's like, I mean, it just gives guys this false sense of hope that whatever hole they find first is fair game, and that's not a thing. <laughs> like, I let a guy stick his finger in my butt once, and it was only because he was going to war, so I did it for my country. Like, <laughs> why is everybody else slutty? Oh, man. <laughs> I just, it's this whole bizarre concept that like you don't know the difference between the two. Like, are you serious? We're grownups. They're clearly mapped out situations, guys. Like one of them is like, oh, it's a pretty pink flower, water me out. And the other is just like this angry old woman, just like, oh. <laughs> like one of them's like, oh, it's so nice in here. And the other's like, you take me to the casinos. I want to play the slots, just oh. Like I said, I'm lactose intolerant. All right, thank you.